Phil here with Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in beautiful Cumming, Georgia, about 30 miles north of Atlanta. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977 and my cell is 770-317-1415. We can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. This video today is to show off some new inventory that cool looking 87 R10 aka C10 back there is the one we're showing off today but I just really wanted to show everyone the shop and let you know that uh, you know we sell the classic cars and trucks neon signs wheel and tire packages for the classics and more just give us a holler if we can help take a quick peek in the shop Got the company truck here. You see us going down the road, towing a towing a hot rod. Give us a thumbs up. Working hard to bring you the best inventory available. Okay, so here's one of our neon signs. Had it for a while, displayed here in the shop. Uh, six foot wide dealer style Chevrolet bow tie sign. We've got more of those on our website at carcraftclassics.com. Here's some of our Riddler wheels in the display rack. We've got the 650, 695, and then the 695 Chrome. So this is the new shop, everyone. We can hold about 20 vehicles here. Plenty of wheel and tire packages. Got those waiting on some customers to pick them up. And uh, we're real proud of the new shop. It took a lot to get in here. and It's finally all paying off. Hard work, kids. Hard work. It'll pay off. Facility's about 5,000 square feet. And like I said, we can fit about 20 vehicles in here. So we try to just choose the best ones we can find. Cool 1980Z28. Plenty of cool cars and trucks in here. Half of them sold. That Z. There's another Z28 here that's Sold and awaiting pickup. A beautiful 72 Pro Charged Chevelle. Sold. We'll be shipping that up to Massachusetts here in the coming uh, week or two. A cool little 70 C10 pickup. It's another sold one headed down to Texas soon. Got the 68 convertible Firebird 400. Just put that one up on the internet. Let me know if you have any questions. And a cool 68 model C10 sitting back there. But today's video, again, is to show off this sweet square body. Again, it's an 87 model. And in 87, they changed them from a C10 to an R10. I'm not really sure why. But anyway, last model of the square body. Last model year, I should say. And this one is a beauty. Picked this one up in uh, South Carolina. Brought it back home. We've had it a couple months. I've been trying to uh, do little upgrades here and there, and we'll go over all those um, as we progress through the video here. The truck was lowered uh, with a Beltec system when I got it, and uh, it was lowered right. Shout out to Brad in South Carolina. Did a good job. C notch spindles and springs up front flip kit in the rear and I believe a two inch lowering block as well so what you've got here is a four and a half up front drop and then an eight in the rear the stance is just killer let's take a closer look super straight panels rust free truck I believe it's been c-notched in the rear as well didn't mean to leave that out but super straight body Rust-free. Let's see if I can give you a good little shot of that there. Straight down the sides. Of course, the 87 had the uh, the grill with the color match bar going through the center. Absolutely love the stacked headlight look of the 87 model. Check out those 20-inch US mags. We'll get a better look in a second. But they are killer. Those are the Ramblers with the gray center. So we did a complete 
engine cleanup in here. And when we mean complete, I'm serious on this. I mean, we, Danny up at Pools Mill Rods and Customs is, you know, really, really good at the detail. Um, and there's a difference between just, you know, hitting an engine with a can of spray paint or actually doing a detail. I mean, this whole core support had seen better days. It was completely sandblasted and painted. And you can see it's got that factory look. Inner wheel wells, same thing, sandblasted and painted. Frame rails, super clean. See the top of the Beltec shocks down there. So here's exactly what I mean between uh, just spray painting your motor and doing a detail. You see those exhaust manifolds, we all know they can look terrible after years of use. So what we do, instead of just spray painting them, pull them off, sandblast them, paint them with Cerakote paint, high heat paint. But when they go back on, they go back on with new hardware. And it just gives it a more finished look. We also put a little radiator overflow tank on there, brand new one. Reached out to Summit Racing and got a nice set of valve covers. Uh, billet style with the raised lettering Chevrolet going across the top with the bow tie. Air cleaner to match. Super slick. Really, really nice touch under here. The gray kind of picks up uh, the design element of the wheels. Got the gray wheels, gray centers, with the gray valve covers, the gray breather with the blow with the bow tie. And then the intake manifold got the same treatment. Pulled off sandblasted, painted, and reinstalled with new hardware. Hopefully you can see all that. And hopefully you can appreciate like we do, those little those little touches, those little details mean a lot. You pop your hood and you're showing this truck, or just enjoying it yourself in your driveway. It's a nice feeling to know that it was done right. This is a 350 truck. It's got the 700R four-speed overdrive transmission. My favorite drivetrain that they offered for this year. Jack is still in here. Wiper motor cleaned up, repainted. Super clean. We left the firewall factory original. Most guys want to see that. So we left that alone. AC does blow cold. Heat works, wipers work, lights work. And another surprise we have for you is we went and installed a set of Dakota Digital Gauges. Black face and they light up blue. We'll show you those in just a moment. But anyway, one last spin around here of the engine compartment. Real proud of it. I think it came out real, real nice. Oh, one other thing we did in here, almost forgot, was the underhood insulation mat here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But those get all ratty. I hate to pop a hood and see a beautiful engine and then some torn up underhood mat here. So we put a new one of those in. Picked that up from USA One. All new clips to hold it in. Super clean. Again, super straight body. Paint is slick. I don't think it's original paint. Did see I think some tape lines around the the doors real faint but uh, I'm not a body man I can't be sure but what I can tell you is again not to be redundant but it is super straight and the paint really really shines well it's got its share of little dings or scratches here and there um, it is a 1987 model we call those character marks but this is about as slick as slick a paint job as we've had on a square body So again, wheels and tires, US Mag Ramblers with the gray centers and the polished lip. This is a 20 by 8, 20 by 10 combo. Got a 245 40 up front <coughs> and a nice fat 315 in the rear. Nice new rubber, ready to go. 
as I say in all my videos, guys, I'm not going to crawl around underneath, but there will be still shots on my website, carcraftclassics.com, of the undercarriage, and you'll be able to see all of that. Super clean underneath. You know, it's got some surface rust here and there, but there is no rot. There are no holes, no problems with the frame. It's got a fairly new exhaust system on it. AC was recently serviced. Brand new sport bumper in the rear. We also did new tail lights. That's always a nice touch. Those old tail lights, uh, the lenses themselves can get, you know, all cloudy and it's a nice upgrade to get the new tail lights. And that sport bumper, we know everybody loves that. Tucked in a little better than that heavy duty bumper that a lot of people had back in the day. Got the factory sliding rear window. Tailgate band molding is in good shape. Got a little plastic drop in bed liner. Bed is in good shape underneath. Just have to take my word for it on that one. And again, she's got little scratches here and there. Those character marks, we love them. All of these vehicles have a little story to tell. And this bad boy is no different. Now that four and a half eight drop, man, that stance is just. It's awesome. Take a look at that. She's a beauty. And turnkey, ready to go. Take a look first at the passenger side. And that rear cab band molding there. It's in great shape as well. It's not all dented up and dinged. Love the navy blue. Door panels are in great shape. Look to be original, just cleaned up. Windows, of course, are slow. Just like all of these square bodies, it drives me out of my mind. But, uh, you know, we can help with that. Or, I gotta leave you something to work on. It's got a brand new seat cover. It was done by the pre previous owner, along with a carpet kit. Again, she's turned key ready to enjoy and just looks excellent in here we'll get around to the driver's side in a minute because I want to show you those new gauges all right headliners in great shape and that is the uh, you know the installation and operation manual for the VHX uh, gauges by uh, Dakota Digital. <clears throat> Again, this particular truck has a 350. Uh, it's fuel injected 350 with the 700R four-speed overdrive transmission. At the 10 bolt rear like they all had. Glass is in good shape. Rubber around the glass is in good shape too. Front bumper looks to be original. Still holding up well, looks good. The chrome's in decent shape. The rear bumper, again, that's that's a new sport bumper. New brackets, new carriage bolts, etc. All right. Again, door panels in good shape. This truck was well taken care of. Rockers are in good shape as well. All right, let's take a look here. We've got the tilt wheel, got the cruise control. Like I said, the wipers work, lights work, AC works. And look at those sweet Dakota Digital gauges. Absolutely love that product from Dakota Digital. The 
the VHX family of gauges. <clears throat> Radio needs a needs a knob. Again, I gotta leave you something to work on, guys and girls. Radio does work. This has the factory dual tanks. They do work. Everything on the gauge cluster works. Gas gauge speedo, tack, oil pressure. Everything's in working order. Let's fire this baby up for you. All right. So these are the black face gauges. They come in black or silver, um, the face anyway. And uh, you can get them to light up white, red, or blue. In this case, we went with the blue. We absolutely love it. You're not going to be able to see it out here as well. But I will make a point of taking the truck into the shop, shutting the lights off, and giving you a real good look at what those gauges look like all lit up. It is super cool. And of course, blue is awesome. You know, the truck is blue. We thought it was a, a no-brainer to go with the blue uh, backlit gauges from uh, Dakota Digital. So there she is, guys. In all her glory. 1987 Chevy R10 pickup truck. Let's get the tunes going. She's ready to be cruised on the weekends or used as a daily driver. Okay, even the key buzzer works. I love it. Okay, guys, so there she is, running and driving. And uh, one of the comments my, uh, my mechanic made when they pulled the intake manifold off and the valve covers, the engine looked really healthy, really healthy inside. Changed all the fluids out while we were doing that work. Let me get these lights off. And uh, again, it's nice to know, even though she's showing, I think she was showing 112. 115 on the odometer before we change the gauges but she's got some miles on her as you would imagine for an 87 but somebody took really good care of this truck and we're just happy to help customize it a little bit and send it down the road to a new owner asking price on this vehicle is going to be 19,500 19,500 we can help with shipping we can help with financing and most importantly we can help with customization so if you saw something on this video that you didn't like you want it replaced or changed uh, you know just give us a call we can help you find the part we can help install the part or we can just buy it and throw it in the bed and when we ship it to you it'll be there and you can install it yourself financing we work with JJ best they seem to be the number one finance company out there. They've helped our customers quite a bit. Quick approvals, fair interest rates, and you don't have that problem where that you have with the local banks where they don't want to finance these old vehicles. JJ Best actually specializes in that. So we've got you covered. Customization, shipping, financing. You just let me know what I can do to help. And I really, really want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you have a minute, subscribe to our channel below and uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And again, my cell is 770-317-1415. Thank you so very much. God bless America.